Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show how to collect all of the hyperlinks in a given web page. Now to set this up we're going to use the Internet Explorer object or web browser control. In this specific example I won't be using the web browser control but if you're not familiar with web browser control and you want to use that though uh, feel free to look at my web browser control video. In this video specifically we're going to be creating the object the Internet Explorer that application. So let's go ahead and get this started. I'm going to go to my developers tab and I'm going to go to macros and I'm going to name a macro I'm going to call it get all links which I already have right here but I'm going to if this wasn't here and I'm going to delete it so you can see we can get a clean start if I also go to macros we don't have a macro name here I'm going to call it get all links and I'm going to go on and hit enter enter hitting enter will create it so here we have a blank macro so this is where we're going to set it up the first thing we want to do is name the object we're going to do dim IE for Internet Explorer as object. And what we want to do is set the IE variable to the actual object the actual object itself, which is going to be Internet Explorer that application. And what we want to do is make sure it's visible to the user. IE dot visible is equal to true. And what we're going to do on your worksheet, all you need to do is have a a URL to go to. In this case, it's in range E4 of sheet 1. So I'm going to go back to my Visual Basic code. And put URL name is equal to sheet 1 dot range and we said it was E4. Now we're going to do IE dot navigate. We've got to navigate to the page to the URL name. So far that's going to get us to actually navigating to the URL name and what we want to do is wait for the page to load. So we're going to do a do loop, loop until IE, that ready state, is equal to 4. 4 is pretty much meaning complete. And what we should also do is under URL name, if the URL name is equal to blank, then just exit sub, meaning we're not going to do anything if the user is not giving us a page to go to. So here, if we are to test this code out, I'm going to go on and play it from here. Page loading. And we got a debug here. Let's see. I put read, read state. It's ready state. There you go. Complete it. Okay. So let's go on and let me close out the browser window. And I'm going to go on and go back to deleting the message box. Let's go on and get all the hyperlinks. So the very first thing we want to do is first off, give a variable. Get a, well, we're going to assign all the elements with the tag name A, which would be for the hyperlink tag. We want to set a variable to that. So we're going to do set, we'll just call it all hyperlinks is equal to Internet Explorer dot document. It's going to be get element by tag name. And we're going to be looking all at the A tag, which is, I'm going to leave a little comment here. If you're familiar with web design, any kind of hyperlink is is in an A tag like this. You have the URL name, and then let's say click here. So what we're trying to do is collect all of the A tags, and through that we're going to go through each hyperlink. So here, this is a variable that I'm creating. Hyperlink in all hyperlinks. So we're, we're going to be looking at each hyperlink. This is a variable that we created in all hyperlinks, which is this other variable that we had created. And we need to close the for statement. Let me show you what this does really quick. I'm going to go to, in order to show you what this does, I'm going to go back to my worksheet. I'm going to add a list box right here. And I'm going to go to my developers tab under insert. I'm going to go on and select the list box I said, this one right here. And the name of this is list box one. So I'm going to go back to the Visual Basic code. Right before the for statement, I'm going to do sheet one dot list box one dot clear. That way we clear the list box. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the name of each hyperlink inside that list box. And to do that in this for statement, this is what we're going to do. 
it's going to be sheet one dot list box one. I believe it's add item. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the hyperlink. And let's go on and try this code out. We're going to do message box done. And I'm going to play this. And let me go on and just look what I did here. Probably just a typo. I wanted to name this all hyperlinks here. Go. And it should be get elements by tag name. I tried this code out. There you go, done. See so here we have all of the URLs that are on google.com. That actually completes this video. The only thing that I was going to do on top of this is assign this button right here to that macro. So get all URLs. This is a picture right here. This is just using the shape, the drawing tool I meant, I meant to say. And we're just going to right click it, assign macro, and we're going to put get all links and hit OK. So now if I was to put in a different URL like AOL.com and let's try to get all URLs. It clears all of the it clear it, it clear the previous results and it added all of the URLs that are found on the AOL page. Now in the next video I'm going to demonstrate how to click a specific link so that that link opens up in a in the same window. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thank you for watching.